Hey folks, welcome back for more Let's Play Shadowrun. Now, more of the fourth floor. I'm pretty sure we're on the fourth floor. So you did find that data file, but we still haven't gotten the uh, we still haven't gotten the elevator to move yet. So I'm willing to bet this one. Yep, all the rest of them were busy. Or uh unavailable to be used computers. Well, if you ever do play the pen and paper role-playing game Shadowrun, the easiest way to completely drive a jeep, a uh, storyteller, or DM, or GM, or whatever you want to call it, crazy, play a Decker. Especially if you're with a veteran group that knows a lot better than to play Deckers. Because Deckers will kill the momentum of a game. As much fun as I have playing them. That is the surest way to make the entire group's eyes roll at you. Because, well, let's put it this way. If you're playing a decker, and you actually deck into a machine, it takes, you, the uh, DM basically has to set aside an entire play set, an entire section of the play session dedicated to that, just that, just you running, just you doing that deck. Just you trying to break into the machine. Basically, you have to set aside an entire chunk of playtime. Just for your decking pleasure. And there is no faster way to make sure that the rest of the group hates you than to do that and fail and make things worse for them. Because if you screw up in the Matrix, you can set off every alarm in a building. Basically, decking allows you to be the ultimate troll. So there's an O for all you would-be Shadowrun trolls out there. Be a Decker and be a bad one. But if you want to play with people that'll ever let you play again, pick something else. On a side note, I picked Decker for my first character because the, uh, the Game Master wouldn't let us play as mages. He hated the mage mechanics. Boy, did he hate the mage mechanics. And to be honest, they were, until you actually learned how to mess with them, they were a pain. Destroy that. Way to not read. Okay, and that will unlock this down here. And that should be everything in here. I just want to make sure real quick. I didn't miss a path, did I? No, I did not. Well, that opens the elevator. Level 6, no deactivated. And the elevator activated. Excellent. And which one of you? You're there. Any others around here? Just that one? Just that one. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. No, I actually wanted to use something here. Boy, that, that went well. Oh, stop it. Game, you're giving me trouble. 
Why wouldn't you want to use a cyber deck on yourself? You have to, you do have to log into it, dude. You have to sneak it up there and plug it into your temple. I'm just not paying any attention to what those scrolling messages say right now. That's what I get for trying to hurry through this. Okay. Two data files obtained and 10,000 nuyen. Excellent. So what did we find? Okay, let's see, we have... Bad news, we already had that one. Jester, we had that one. So, Matrix. What's up with this Matrix one here? Matrix systems have created a program which could threaten our AI computer. There's also a courier who could still have the program intact in his head. Destroy them both! Aniki. So that's what's going on. We have a program in our head that's designed to destroy an AI. And these guys are developing an AI. I can see why they'd want that taken care of. Now what's this volcano one? If I am forced to leave the hideout in order to deal with your incompetence, you will all suffer greatly. Report directly to me, Volcano 233435, Drake. Yeah, we have his phone number. I say we call him, harass him. Heal up first, though, and get through the rest of this building. Oh, there's a phone right there. That's handy. Ah, the good old Super Nintendo and its massive amounts of slowdown. Actually, I think this was just bad programming on their parts, but, you know. Okay, guys, you're gonna make me chase you? Really? I'm really gonna have to chase you guys around this place, aren't I? Really, your gun wasn't working, so you went with a knife. Okay. This seems some backwards thinking to me. But that's how it is, huh? Before we annoy Drake... Let's get that last elevator up and running, if nothing else, huh? Since we've stolen a bunch of money out of his accounts. Well, I don't think the 18,000 or so we've stolen. Yeah, I don't think the 18,000 or so we've stolen is really all that problematic for him. He's worth billions. Too bad we couldn't have found one of those stores, huh? He could retire. I always wondered what that was supposed to be. This looks like an inbox outbox thing. Oh well. On to decking. for your last tier computer. There wasn't much security there. I assume that's what it meant by level 6 node. So let's annoy Drake, shall we? 
since he's put us through all this. What's going on there? Report! Report! Armitage! You! You're dead, Armitage. And see, the thing is... He's a dragon. Although, you probably could have figured that out from the name. And the fact that now he will respond to absolutely nothing. I'm still going to annoy him, though. But then again, I have a tendency to poke dragons in games anyway, so, you know, it's all good. I just want to see if he reacts to anything, because I don't remember him doing it. But if he does, it'll be funny for me. And this should be the last time I have to do this anyway. Because the game's actually pretty straightforward from here. I did hit Shaman, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, let's see. Not even a reaction to the fact we know where you are. Oh well. Let's go to the roof now. What's waiting for us? Sentry guns. That's it. Nothing but sentry guns left up here. And to be honest, they can hurt. Just not really likely they will. You know, I know that's supposed to look like a normal helicopter, but it always looked like a face to me. A face with a mouth that's about to eat something. You know? It just kind of does. I mean, seriously. You got the eyes, and here's a nose, and here's a big mouth that's about to eat something. It always looked like that to me. You know, it doesn't help that the H is kind of transparent through the helicopter. I mean, look at that. I mean, that red there just kind of looks like the H is still showing up. They didn't do a very good job with that sprite, did they? Oh well. Let's stay calm. I'm sure we can deal. Ease off the trigger and I'll fly you where you want to go. Look, you decide where you want to go and stop pointing that gun at me, will ya? So... Let's head towards the volcano, shall we? The Drake Volcano? It's your funeral. Climb aboard and get that gun out of my face. And this one I will let run. Because it's unique. And let's see what we're in for over here, shall we? Ah, yes. Nice sprawling technological steel playground. Sub-Zero. Next up, Sub-Level 1. Enemies, huh? That's right, Troll Deckers. Once again, if you played the actual pen and paper game, that will seem extremely strange to you because, well, trolls while not renowned for their intelligence, are very big and tough. But decking is an attribute that relies pretty much entirely on intelligence. Let's take a quick look around while we're here, huh? And these are some of the toughest enemies in the game. If you're not having any problem handling them, then you won't have any problem handling pretty much the end game. But I'm still going to upgrade one more time anyway.
as we take a quick look around here. There are a lot of rooms. And a lot of enemies. I'm going to try to get back to the start here. Which should be right here. But notice they're giving out almost 200 million a pop here. Yep. And here we have taken a full tour of the first floor. So, good spot to stop the video. When we return, we do Drake Vol- We, uh, start exploring Drake Volcanoes and see what we can find. Hopefully we find the big lizard himself, huh? So anyway, until next time, folks. Take care, all.